open crowd, but still nothing to really support him, nothing to really take the fight to my light armor. So the situation is still not looking good. He has managed to secure a bit of territory, but he's not really able to pull any punches. It's certainly a rather defensive posture, which you really shouldn't try to adopt with a Panzer Elite. Certainly not in a situation like this, where you don't really hold most of the territory. And none of the victory points, since I'm currently holding all three. So I'm not sure what he will be trying to do to sort of rectify it, instead of just going for more Panzer Grenadiers. Bit odd also having a lot of munitions but not really using them for anything. He could for example go for the Panzer Shrek upgrade and then equip some of his Panzer Grenadiers with Panzer Shreks. That would certainly do him a lot of good. I think would certainly be able to be able to deal with my Bren carrier and to a certain degree also the Stuart Light tanks. And I'm setting up a mortar placement because I've noticed he seems to be rather fond of hanging around uh, around there, so might as well open some mortar fire and punish him for that. Since mortars are quite nice to deal with troops bunched up like this, and for some reason also setting up a lot of sandbags. Again, I'm not entirely sure why he's doing this, and now mortar fire is in fact raining in on his troops. Certainly not a happy situation for the Kampfgruppe, who's that is currently not looking in a good position. And we see another martyr. This is, I do believe, the fourth martyr. Already nothing to actually fight in any sort of maneuver combat and certainly adapting a much too defensive posture considering his situation. <coughs> Going back to me, I'm having a lot of manpower in fact. I don't have much use for it currently. Also a lot of fuel and munitions. Seeing a small amount of fighting but I have gone for the armor command and sent in a Cromwell to do a bit of damage to the Panzer Elite troops. Do a tank forcing back the Panzer Grenadiers. A lot of casualties to in fact. Marta Free hanging around and a rush at the Marta Free using my tanks in a rather cavalry like dash. Marta Free caught out in a bad position being hit from all sides. Fourth Marta as well arriving on the situation. Probably going to knock out that steward. Yes indeed. But Cromwell taking advantage of the situation and flanking the Martyr Free as well. Once more not properly supporting the Martyrs. Instead quickly abandoning them. Had he for example at least had some pantry tricks, he could have placed them in these nearby buildings to provide some close quarters protection. But sadly no pantry tricks for the Panzer Elite. Crashing right into the scaffolding here. Leaving that the fourth wrecked martyr for this match. And a lot of Panzer Grenadiers without much to do. And looks like he's finally getting the Panzer Shrek upgrade. Let's see. Yes, indeed. Finally going to be able to equip his troops with something to deal with all the armor I have on the field. A bit surprised he's taking this long. And looks like Susa Toad at this moment has already sort of realized he's sort of lost the fight certainly a valiant attempt although perhaps not the strongest one and i did find it a bit odd since he was indeed over level 10 i suspect he was somewhere around level 11 or 12 in fact so he should be somewhat decent on the battlefield and certainly not a novice but could be he was trying out something new or had a great deal of success with this martyr sort of strategy and now realize someone who can actually fight it who knows <coughs> Com Cromwell command tank on the field to support my armored troops and we see a rather large force gathering here lots of panzer shreks a few Luftwaffe troops very nice but certainly going to find himself a bit trouble if it actually encounters my infantry then a bit of a rather lopsided switch I think in terms of what it, his force can actually deal with but let it be so I suppose Our moving out once more to the north to going to try and secure what he can on this side of the river my armor force is holding back for the most part rather preferring to hold them in a 
defensive posture to deal with whatever he might throw at me since at the moment I'm holding most of the battlefield and so I'm better off I feel by reacting rather than acting at this moment I'd rather know what he's doing and what he might be hiding up his sleeves which is certainly something I can't get away with considering how much of the map I do have we see further kitten crowds for some reason out not entirely sure why and we see the Panzer Grenadiers moving points. upwards down, quietly Kettenkraut spotting out my armor positions and we see the Luftwaffe not apparently fully reinforced bit of a shame for the poor fellows drawing the fire off the Cromwells perhaps hoping to lure them into his pants tricks who knows but I do not take the bait instead just parking those Cromwells nicely and not making a move In fact, not entirely sure what he's up to. Do notice something there, so he began blasting away at it from a distance. No point in moving in towards Panzerstrix in a building, and Panzerstrix team cleared out with one single shot from the Cromwell. And we see another martyr. Well, let's see what happens. Apparently, not pulling back, although now, yes, indeed, pulling back the Cromwell, leaving him with the. Down to 50 points. Northern half of the map for a brief while. Let's see how Susa takes this challenge up. Moving in cautiously. A sector is being overrun. Taking the strategic point, not moving in on some of his other Panzer Grenadiers though. Kettenkraut still scouting out, and I've gone for the radio triangulation, as you can see here, allowing me to see what's in this triangle. Allowing me to maneuver my troops in wherever I want and do a lot of nasty damage. Cancer the shot, knocking out two from the Panzerstrick team. And his troops are currently completely surrounded from all sides. Stuart trying to knock out this Panzerstrick, the Panzerstrick this, but does not succeed, although is supported by this Firefly, which is now on the field. Another mod out and a lot of troops losses for the Panzer Grenadiers, including this. And the Stuart has survived against all odds. And looks like this might be about it. Having suffered heavy losses, yes, indeed. Kampfgruppe Tod pulls back. Of course, not the longest fight, and I do apologize, but for some reason I have been feeling a bit ill today so I figured I could get away with a slightly shorter one but do not worry tomorrow there will be a longer match and a weirdly wind that was a bit odd of a choice but what to learn from this well for starters you have to be a lot more aggressive where the pants are leading particularly against the pants the British uh, and rather we did see some poor choice and for example the aggressiveness not really trying to hunt down my infantry section while they were out by themselves so allowing me to gather up my forces and for example moving in Marta Freeze completely unsupported not a good idea either you want to support your martyrs in particular in any sort of aggressive offensive movements and yet repeatedly he just threw them in without any support losing four martyrs just to that and the fifth one supported was a bit too late generally I think and I Honestly, I had the feeling that he wasn't really able to react properly to what he was faced with. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I also hope you learned something from it. And if you did, why not subscribe or tell your friends. This is Imperial Dane saying, Martyr Freeze are not tanks.